in a year full of big budget Hollywood flops, we saw Barbie take over the box office, the biggest movie in 2023. And it certainly caused a lot of conversation, not just around its success and what that means, but also the theming, the messaging, who it was made for, things like that. Shockingly for Hollywood, maybe they could learn a lesson that if you take something that's a girl's brand, make a movie for women, then women might actually go out and see it. Instead of taking these traditionally male-dominated brands and trying to pander to women who actually aren't interested in it and nobody shows up at the box office. But certainly with award season in full swing, there's so many people that are demanding that Barbie, the biggest movie at the box office, gets rewarded for all its success. Unfortunately, those people are having an absolute fucking meltdown on social media right now, from Twitter users to the mainstream media to everybody with an agenda to push because they just can't stand that it didn't get nominated for the Oscars they feel it deserved to be. Greta Gerwig and Margot Robbie Barbie Oscar snubs spark sexism outrage. Here's just a sample, right? Just a couple things that were going out there. There's so many viral tweets about this from yesterday. It's wild. Greta Gerwig made a film that was critically acclaimed, culturally impactful, hilarious, unique, visually exceptional, perfectly cast and acted, left people laughing, crying, and thinking, and made a billion, but no Best Director nomination. Greta Gerwig being snubbed at the Oscars despite Barbie being the only billion dollar movie solely directed by a woman feels very sus to me. After an insane year of saving movies, Greta Gerwig and Margot Robbie have been snubbed by the Academy for Best Director and Best Actress. And yes, I can't believe Margot Robbie got snubbed for Best Actress because of all the sexists out there. You know, they nominated five other women instead. It's weird how that works, right? Oh, they're just so against women. I can't believe they didn't put her up against the other women in the best actress category, but it is fucking hilarious, especially because of who's actually been nominated. Woke mainstream media outlets melt down over the Academy snubbing Barbie in the best actress and best director categories while nominating Ryan Gosling as best supporting actor. Yes, the movie that so many women took it away. Like, it's so hard to be a woman. Look at us. Hilariously enough, you get the two women that were most involved, the director and the lead actress. They don't get Oscar nominations, and quite frankly, I don't really think they deserve them. But Ryan Gosling, for Best Supporting Actor, does. The guy who stole the show, the guy who so many dudes thought was fucking hilarious in this movie, ends up getting the nod for Best Supporting Actor, and a lot of people <laughs> cannot stand it. Woke mainstream media outlets have been going on a pitiful and predictable tirade over the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences nominations, which saw the Oscars snubbing Barbie in the Best Director and Best Actress categories. And let's be real, too. Just because a movie makes the most money that year doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be kind of an, an awards darling or anything like that. Nevertheless, Barbie did receive like eight different nominations, including for Best Picture, which I... I, again, I don't have this hate for Barbie that a lot of other people do. I don't think it was made for me. I think it was made for women who played with Barbies when they were growing up. And this idea of realizing that the, the real world isn't as perfect as this pretend fantasy land they thought it would be when they were growing up. But nevertheless, the real world's still better than this fucking imaginary place. But anyway, I didn't hate it like a lot of, a lot of other people did. But I don't think it's best picture worthy material. But because Greta Gerwig didn't get nominated for best director and Margot Robbie didn't get nominated for best actress, these people are having a fucking freak out. On Tuesday, the Academy made the Oscar nominations known, revealing that neither Greta Gerwig nor Margot Robbie were nominated for their work on Warner Brothers Barbie. But Ryan Gosling and America Ferrera were both best supporting actor and best supporting actress respectively. The Los Angeles Times Glenn Whip declares, no, not again, attempting to argue four years after being overlooked for her work behind the camera for Little Women. The, uh, the Academy's director branch again slighted Gerwig, this time for Barbie. You'd think making a movie that grossed more than $1.4 billion in box office earned ecstatic reviews and launched a thousand think pieces would have merited a nomination. People Magazine, Greta Gerwig left out for Best Director, while star Margot Robbie was absent from Best Actress. Despite helming the number one movie of the year at the box office, Gerwig, 40, was not recognized in the directing category. Was, how long has that been the case? I don't know, for Avengers Age of Ultron, that was a movie that had a massive box office, right? Was anyone saying, you know, Joss Whedon really deserves the Best Director nomination 
for Avengers Age of Ultron because of its success at the box office. I, I don't really feel like that happened. In fact, we usually see much different things that end up being nominated for Oscars. Now, certainly we've seen some things in history that have blown up and been the biggest things that have won, but it's not necessarily the case. And in fact, oftentimes it's movies that don't get a ton of box office attention. It's smaller movies, a little more artsy movies. They get so much attention from the Academy. Weird how they want to make things different now, isn't it? Detroit Free Press, Julie Hines lamented Barbie didn't get as many nominations as Oppenheimer, which landed 13. Oppenheimer leads the overall tally with 13 nods, followed by Poor Things with 11 and Killers of the Flower Moon with 10. But Oscar blew its chance to relieve, uh, to relive the 2023 face-off. Barbenheimer at least deserved a nomination's tie. I, I don't fucking think so. While Barbie's competing for Best Picture, the women who embodied her, Margot Robbie, and the women who led her, Greta Gerwig, are somehow missing from the actress and directing categories. Clearly, the next Mattel edition of the doll needs to be Oscar voter Barbie. Minnie called out Academy voters online, noting the irony that Ryan Gosling was nominated in Best Supporting Actor, even though he's just Ken. Though reporting on the reaction the news got on social media, but also seemingly suggesting... The actor was not even deserving of the nomination. Script News wrote, Barbie was the number one box office hit, yet the film's director is not among the five considered for best director. Later noting, Gerwig's rebuff was notable as she became the first woman to direct a film that collected over $1 billion at the box office. You see people pretending like, I thought this was hilarious, right? I just, and it tweeted this, this blows up on social media. I'm so sick of running as fast as I can, wondering if I'd get there quicker if I was a man. She's literally like got snubbed for a nomination against other women. Like, what the fuck are you talking about when it comes to the Margot Robbie shit? Margot Robbie wasn't nominated for Best Actress, a category that's famously dominated by men. It's actually laughable that these people are trying to cry sexism over the Margot Robbie shit. And the Greta Gerwig thing, again, I, I don't think that Barbie, despite being the number one at the box office, I don't think that that's a movie that really should be getting a ton of awards attention. I think it's getting more than it should be already uh, w with a lot of the different nominations and things like that. Eight nominations for this movie that would not typically have any business being around during awards season. It's not enough that this movie was the queen of the box office for 2023. That doesn't matter. Well, we need to get this. We need to get that. You need to have it awarded for this, 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 and this. Otherwise, you're not respecting women enough. What a fucking joke. I really do hope. It's not going to win Best Picture, and I don't think that Ryan Gosling is going to win. I think that Robert Downey Jr. will win Best Supporting Actor, but I fucking hope he does because all of the people that were complaining about how hard it is to be a woman, blah, blah, blah. If Ryan Gosling walks away with like the only win for them at the Oscars, the, the meltdown we're seeing now would be that much worse. The truth is... People love Ryan Gosling in this movie. Women loved him. Men loved him. He was fucking hilarious. And uh, he might end up walking away with some hardware while Margot Robbie and Greta Gerwig, they might not be. What do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comments section below. Smash a like button. Subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell for notifications. Share this video out there. And I'll talk to you later.